Hello everybody, uh, in this video I will be assembling the Artemis keyboard. This is a keyboard designed by Coconut Bob. I'll have a link down below to where he assembles it on his channel. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, he designed this and he sent it to me. It's really cool. Um, it's got a nice ribbon cable connector here. And he also sent me the ribbon cable for it and that will connect into the Coco when it's done. He also sent me a link to some switches that he, uh, I guess I was already bought before. So I bought these same switches and I will be installing them. They're five point switches or, you know, five pin switches are called, even though really there are two contacts and the rest are just alignment pins. And so let's start. What I think I want to do is you know, solder one here, solder one here, solder one here, solder one here, and then turn it around and just solder all of them together. Let's see if I can do that. So. To just quickly throw in there I found a roll of solder here that I bought from Radio Shack and I vaguely remember buying this in the 90s more or less and it was stored away in an old toolbox that I had in the attic so yeah fun uh, I'm not gonna use this for this build but I will be using it um, for another build so let's see if I can flip this around without losing any switches okay This is bold. Huh. That actually worked. Okay. Now, I will solder. Let me see if I can move this a little bit this way so that light isn't blinding. Uh, I can't do anything about it. I don't really have a good setup here for video and stuff. Sorry. And I'm probably going to miss a couple of these because I have a hard time seeing them because um, this thing is in the way while I'm recording. <laughs> it's just the nature of recording, making videos while soldering. At this point, uh, they're all soldered, <laughs> I think. Uh, let me uh, flip it over and quickly inspect it. None fell off and they seem to be straight. You know, now in theory, I can just plug it in this way and I'll have activity on the cocoa. So cool, that was pretty easy. Um, maybe I'll clean it up a little bit. Let's do that. All right, let's clean uh, some of the flux. So I have some flux remover here um, and I have some lint free wipes. I mean, it's not going to be great, but it should help.
Okay, the, it's drying. Um, it's a little better. It's not great, but you know, it's not, uh, it doesn't have all that flux around there. So this is what it looks like. It's very clean, came out nice. And I wanna show you how it came out on the bottom. Um, what I had to do was uh, I removed the flux with the flux remover. Um, it was a little sticky, so I, I went over it with an alcohol wipe, just, you know, standard alcohol wipes, rubbing alcohol wipes, you know, after. I mean, you can't remove the flux with alcohol wipes. Um, I mean, not e easily anyhow, but uh, once you've removed it with flux remover, then you can clean it up real easy. And um, yeah, take a look. It's not sticky. It came out pretty clean. I hope you can see it in the video. Next, we're going to put this in a Coco 3. Okay, here's my Coco 3 I'm going to test this keyboard out with. Okay, here's the Artemis keyboard. I've already pre-inserted the ribbon cable. Or the S, FPC cable, whatever you want to call it. Alright, so. What Coco 3 has screws? Or what Coco for that matter? This is a little long, so let me insert it first into the connector. Okay, and power on. Okay, we have stuff on the screen. Let's take a look. Let me move this out of the way so I don't mess it up. There we go. Okay, now I'm gonna press keys, Q. Okay, that works. W D A P Y. Okay. It's very quiet. I like it. Okay. Let's see. Clear. That's left. Uh, that's clear, that's enter, and let's, let's see if I can go, oh yeah, that works, nice. All right, uh, all the keys seem to work, rather all the switches seem to work. So next up, I will be selecting and installing keycaps. But so far, Coconut Bomb has done a great job designing this board, very nice. Very nice. I'm happy. I'm happy at how this came out. All right, here I have some keycaps that a friend of mine let me borrow so I can test this keyboard out. He's also giving me a bin of uh, random keycaps that I can pick from, but I think for this video, I'm just gonna use these because they're laid out nicely. Okay. Well, I guess these are the modifier keys. Let's start this right here. Okay. All right. This have one over here. That's Q for sure. All right, let's put that guy in there. That's all I got for now. Clear. This should be break. Let me see if I can write my own program first. 
then right, print Okay, hello Artemis. It's coming together. It's going to look like a keyboard soon enough. So here's the keyboard installed with some keys that are still missing. Um, we are missing, so in the Artemis keyboard, okay, Coconut Bob uh, put an inverted T uh, configuration here, which I like. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. But he also kept uh, Coco 2 style up, down, left, right keys. So this key here is left, this one's right. This one's up, this one's down. So I need those. I need another shift key that fits here in this spot. I need the at symbol, right? And I need, um, oh, what is this? Uh, oh yeah, equal minus, okay? Or something like that. Um, I also wanna replace the break key here because I think it should say something, but not just escape, you know? Uh, yeah, escape is kind of boring, but uh, I think I want to replace this, but keep it red. So um, this set here that my friend let me borrow, actually I talked to him and he sold it to me uh, real cheap. I got a good deal on it. I like it. It's nice, clean, looks good. But he also gave me a whole bunch of random key caps to search through, to pick through so I can, so I can fill up whatever is missing. So here, let me show you that. Okay, right there. So this is a bin that's with all sorts of random keys and I picked through all of them and picked some that I like. So let's go look at the ones I found. So first, let's look at the up, down keys, right? Up, down, left, right. I really like these. However, uh, this key here, I guess uh, there was a manufacturing problem with it. And as you can see, you know, there's some of the plastic is missing or worn down or it's too deep or whatever. So I couldn't find another one, so no good. Here's a complete set with the same symbol, which I really like. However, it's red. And I think that the only red key that we should have on the keyboard is the break key. I mean, that's just my personal preference. These are nice. Uh, it's a complete set, uh, up, down, left, right. Um, it's black. Um, so what I, what I might do is I might use these here, right? Or I might mix mix them with this over here. I'm not 100% sure yet, but it's definitely gonna be down here. The break key, um, this one is like the one that's on there already, but it's a darker shade of red, which I like. But it's kind of boring because it's blank, right? Then there's this guy here with that nice little leaf symbol thing, which um, I like as well. It's a nice and deep dark red, which I, which I think is cool. However, I like this one because it's red and it says void ticket. And you know, void ticket is much more fun than escape. So I'm gonna use that one, okay? Here are just some random keys here that, um, you know, that talk about direction or have an arrow and they were in the running, but I couldn't uh, find a matching one. So I left them here, they're kind of cool. They're gonna go back in the bin there. Here are some fun keys that I'm not gonna use uh, but I was uh, thinking about using for the add symbol. So here's whatever that means, you know, radio me, uh, shoot me, <laughs> or whatever, or, or fire, right? This weirdo little symbol here, which is cool, uh, which I might have might have used as well. And then geekak, whatever that means. But I ended up uh, choosing this one because it's cool looking. And I think it fits. I think it's real nice for the add symbol over here. You got a regular, you know, double quote, single quote. But uh, I think that if you just turn it 90 degrees, you have an equal and a minus. So that is what I'm gonna use for the equal and the minus on the cocoa. Okay, here I have a shift key that fits in this position over here. Even though it's not the same color as the shift key that's already on there, well, that's what I got. And that's what's gonna go in there. So now, the, the prize find in this big bin of keys was 
this one right here, which I couldn't believe I found. Okay. Now look at that guy. So I don't know if that's double quotes, but I'll take it. It's close enough. So a two with a double quote. That is fantastic. So now let's install these keys. So let's start off with the right arrow. Huh? Left arrow. Okay. You know what I just noticed? There's a little bit of paint missing here, or plastic. I don't like that. Let's keep going. Up arrow. Down arrow. That works. Okay. Uh, shift key. Let's put the shift key in. I mean, yeah, it's kind of, you know, funky looking, but uh, hey, I'll, I can work with that. You know, whatever. It is a modifier, so why not be different? Okay. Um, this guy over here is going to be the sideways. So I'm going to use uh, the double quote, single quote, but sideways. Okay, maybe I should do it from left to right. Because oh, maybe it won't go. There you go. That works. Okay, um, at, that will be this guy, which I think is really cool looking. I think this, um, this looks nice. Now I am going to make that one change that I told you about, which I think I'm going to mix the keys because, um, gosh, I just, wow, this is really, really unfortunate. I don't know if you can see that, but oh, maybe that's just dirty. Oh, I can clean that later. Let me see if I can clean that off screen there. Yeah, I think it's coming off. All right, maybe I'll keep it. Okay, so here's my keyboard, guys. It looks really good. Let's put the case cover on. Oh, I forgot two things. Hold on. First, how can I forget this? Let's get rid of this guy. Now let's put in void ticket. And then, of course, I'm going to get rid of this number two. And we're going to use this funky number two here. It does look a little different, but hey, it's fantastic. Let me know in the comments what you think. Should I use the two that, that, that has the matching font with the other number keys? Or do I keep this two with the double quotes? I think it does look a little funky, but I mean... It's a Coco 3, all right? We're using it here in 2024, so I think it fits.
anyhow, uh, thank you for watching the video. Oh, wait a minute. Before that, <laughs> let's put the case cover on. I think that looks really good. I think that looks really, really good, actually. Let's see. Okay. Feels nice. Space part feels nice. It doesn't get stuck. Um, yeah, this is nice. This is really, really good. Uh, this will be part one of this video for the next video. Uh, what I plan on doing is installing another one of Coconut Bob's boards uh, that interfaces with the keyboard. And you'll see that there's a there's an RGB light here that does something special with your Coco. So that'll be for the next video. Um, anyhow, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.